All right, so I thought I'd make a quick little video about my race day setup uh, for Saturday, uh, May 18th, the Vuelta al Tede. Um, so it's going to be about 107 miles and just under 15,000 vertical feet, so it's a pretty decent sized race. Um, this is everything I'm going to take for it, basically. Um, We'll start off with the basic stuff, uh, the kit. Um, this is my standard, most of my jerseys are Floyd's of Leadville jerseys, uh, not sponsored or anything, I just really like Floyd's of Leadville. This happens to be the gravel racing team jersey, um, so I'll be using that. Um, I've got Loafler bib shorts, those are pretty good, decent pad in them, had them for a while, got them in France. Um, the arm warmers are Gobic. Uh, I'll probably be starting the race in those. Uh, it's a very early start and it's going to be a little chilly. Um, I also have a rain jacket I just picked up the other day. Uh, Sirocco. It's a Sirocco rain jacket. I also have these. These are just a cheap pair of actually men's uh, yoga tights. Um, if the weather forecast is looking bad enough, I'll take them in a pocket, uh, maybe my backpack over there, but I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, I probably won't. Helmet is my everyday driver, so to speak. It's a Laser Genesis with my little, little cheapo light on the back. And of course, we've got the Wahoo ticker. Now the uh, weather, like I said, is supposed to be kind of shit. Um, it might even rain on us all day. Uh, and I wear glasses, I'm blind as a bat. Um, and if you've ever ridden a bike in the rain with glasses, you know that once the lenses get just water on them and everything, and you can't dry them, it's pretty hard to see. So what I think I'm gonna do is throw in a pair of contacts and uh, have these, these are just shitty cheap nine euro gas station sunglasses basically so uh, in the morning when we start it'll be dark I won't need my I won't need my regular glasses um, I can, and whenever the Sun comes out I can just throw those on and when it starts raining I can just take them off and I'll still be able to see however uh, I have lost contacts out of my eyes before while biking so I will probably be taking these these are my uh, standard prescription Ray-Bans um, that I wear pretty much every day of my life. Uh, I'll throw these in a pocket with me just in case. Also, of course, can't forget the chamois butter for what's possibly going to be a 7 hour, 107 mile bike ride. Very important. For nutrition, um, I always take two water bottles with me. Uh, this one uh, is usually just plain water. I got this at the Vuelta Altaide last year. Um, and this one I usually put some kind of carb mix or electrolyte mix or both in. Um, something that I do frequently is actually fill it up with the Monster Juiced. And uh, I'll even throw in a Hydro Cyst tablet on top of that uh, and then top off the last little bit with water. Um, now for the gels. Uh, your body can only absorb about, what is it, I think 90 grams of carbs uh, per hour max uh, while under strenuous exercise. Um, and for people who uh, are just getting started using gels and carving up and everything during rides, um, a good starting point is about one gram of carbs per kilogram of body weight per hour. And I weigh roughly 70 kilograms. Uh, so these are pretty perfect for me. Like for example, this is, I don't know if the camera's focusing, this is 76 grams. Um, so just a little bit more than I need. You wanna over carb, never under carb. Um, and I've got these laid out kind of in chronological order for how I think I'll use them. This one has caffeine in it. Um, Oh, these are 226ers, by the way. Um, supposedly it's what Movistar uses. I've just started using them frequent, uh, recently, uh, and I like them quite a bit. Um, so this one has caffeine in it. Uh, I think I'll start with that because we'll be starting at like 7 a.m. Uh, and then I'll be moving on to a high fructose gel. Um, your body absorbs glucose faster than fructose. Um, so a fructose will be more like a longer release kind of fueling thing. Um, it also has some sodium in it. 
These yellow ones here are isotonics, meaning that they have the same salt concentration as your cells and blood. Uh, so you don't actually need to drink extra water if you use these, unlike the high fructose gels, which you need to drink extra water for when you eat them. Uh, otherwise, you'll get some like gastrointestinal distress and bloating and everything. Um, however, the uh, isotonic ones uh, don't have as many grams of carbs. They're about half. Uh, so two of these per hour would be good. Um, I'm expecting this to take me six and a half to seven hours. So, you know, hour one, two, three, four, five, six, and an extra. Um, I also uh, like to, for a long ride like this, like to take a protein bar with me. Not because it's really good for fueling and keeping your blood sugars up and everything, um, but because having the protein in it, um, you know, it's a denser kind of food. It'll actually make me feel full. It's more like eating my lunch, basically. So you don't actually get hungry. Um, this is my uh, hydration pack in Uswe. I think that's how you pronounce it, Uswe Pace 8. Uh, I got this for trail running. It works really, really well. I love it. Um, however, I'm not quite sure I'll be taking it with me on the race. Um, the hydration bladder holds two liters. Um, if I do take it with me, I'll only be using one. Uh, two liters is it's a little heavy uh, for all the climbing we'll be doing. Um, but having the uh, side pockets, extra side pockets, is really nice. Uh, especially if I'm going to be taking like my, my extra pants over there or some extra gels or or you know i can put my sunglasses my extra sunglasses in it something like that it's just kind of handy so now onto the bicycle uh, i ride a 2022 specialized athos comp uh, i love it it's fantastic uh, the wheels are oddly enough a giant slr1 36 mils hookless i am iffy on the hookless thing um, but i they're they're pretty solid wheels and they're pretty light um, I have Pirelli P0 Road TLR tires on them in 28 millimeters. My drivetrain is a SRAM Rival AXS. I have a 4335 up front, and in the rear for the cassette, I have a 1036. Uh, so that's a nice super low ratio. Uh, that'll give me an advantage on some of the steeper climbs like Masca. Masca is pretty pretty brutal. Um, zip aero handlebars, oddly enough, on a round tube bike, but I really like having that flat part right here. Like this is, that's my climbing position basically. That's the, I find that really comfortable. Uh, of course the Wahoo Element V1 Physique Bar Tape. And uh, this is my Afmadura top tube bag. This stays on my bike no matter what I'm doing, racing or not. Uh, no matter the length of the ride, this is my toolkit basically. I always keep the same stuff in here no matter what I'm doing also. I have two tubes, uh, two CO2 cartridges with a little nozzle to inflate, uh, my multi-tool, my uh, tire levers, and somewhere deep down in there I've also got a little patch kit. magnetic clasp there kind of nice shoes down there really nothing special just kind of really old specialized RC ones nothing to write home about there I also keep my uh, hand pump uh, on there next to my bottle cages so yeah uh, I don't know if I missed anything here um, like I said I'm not quite sure if I'll actually be using the pack or not I'm going to load everything up into my jersey. My, my rain jacket folds up and scrunches nicely into the rear pocket of my jersey. And all the gels should fit in one pocket and my phone and sunglasses will fit in the others. Oh, the other thing I use and take with me on every ride are my Aeropex bone conduction headphones. Uh, these are fantastic. Um, you can still hear everything around you uh, and the music is it's okay it's not the best quality um, Jabra in-ear earbuds are also pretty good I think that's everything I'll need